welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms welcome to my channel learn and earn academy in today in this video we are going to talk about reserve bank of india all about reserve bank of india you will understand and learn about this great institution so if you like this video you can press the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media help us to spread education in this beautiful world so let us see what exactly we have for you in this video now reserve bank of india also called rbi is india's central bank it is also known as the bankers bank so you have a lot of banks in a country and a banker to these bank is rbi now rbi controls monetary and other banking policies of indian government the reserve bank of india was established on april 1st 1935 in accordance with reserve bank of india act 1934 initially it was set up in calcutta and permanently moved to mumbai in 1937 it also acted as a central banking institute for myanmar in 1948 until 1947 for pakistan now whatever information you have in this slide it is really very important for you to at least have an idea to know what exactly is rbi when was it constituted where was it set up initially in calcutta then moved to mumbai in permanently 1937 it also acted as central bank institute for myanmar till 1948 and 1947 for pakistan now though originally privately owned since nationalization in 1949 reserve bank of india is fully owned by government of india so originally rbi was privately owned and after nationalization in 1949 rbi is fully owned by government of india now now what are the objectives of rbi it is to supervise and undertake initiatives for financial sector consisting of commercial banks financial institutions and non banking financial companies so what are the key initiatives which rbi is supposed to take first restructuring bank inspection or undertaking bank inspections fortifying the role of statutory auditors in the banking system so all the commercial banks which you see in your area who is going to check whether they are doing the work properly rbi who is going to define the role of auditors in banking system rbi now what are the functions of rbi now let us see what are the basic and the main functions of rbi which every one of us should know now rbi is the monetary authority of the country it formulates and implements the national monetary policy maintain price stability across all sectors while also keep the objective of growth regulatory and supervisory role it sets parameters for banks and financial operations within which banking and financial systems function protect investor interest and provide economic and cost effective banking to the public third foreign exchange management it oversees the foreign exchange management act 1999 it facilitates external trade and development of foreign exchange market in india currency issuer now rbi issues exchanges or destroys currency which is not fit for circulation it provides the public adequately in currency notes and coins in good quality developmental role promote and perform promotional functions to support national banking and financial objectives the issuer of banking license as per section 22 of banking regulation act every bank has to obtain banking license from rbi to conduct banking business in india related functions provide banking solutions to the central and state governments and also act as their banker chief banker to all the banks maintain banking accounts of all scheduled banks 
Now, what are the subsidiaries of RBI? Now, the important subsidiaries of RBI, which every one of us should at least know, Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. It was set up in 1978. National Agriculture Rural Development Bank of India, NABARD, set up in 1982. National Housing Bank, which was set up in 1988. Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited set up in 1995. Now, what is the structure of RBI? Now, RBI consists of a governor and four deputy governors which are to be appointed by central government. Four directors to be nominated by central government, one from each of the four local boards. 10 directors to be nominated by central government, 2 government officials to be nominated by central government. The organization structure of RBI, the Reserve Bank Affairs are governed by Central Board of Directors. The board is appointed by Government of India for a period of 4 years. Full-time officials, governor and not more than 4 deputy governors are full-time governors. The current governor of RBI is Mr. Shanti Kanta Das. There are four deputy governors, M.K. Jain, B.P. Kanugu, S.S. Mudra, and N.S. Vishwanathan and Viral Acharya. Nominated by government, 10 directors from various fields and two government officials. Other four directors, one each from four local boards. So this is the organization structure. The governor is at the top, deputy governors, executive directors, principal chief general managers, chief general managers, general managers, deputy general manager, assistant general manager, managers, assistant managers and support staff. The RBI has four zonal offices at Chennai, Delhi, Kolkata and Mumbai. It has 20 regional offices and 11 sub offices. Some important facts about RBA, its headquarters is in Mumbai. First governor was Sir Osborne Smith and first Indian governor was C.D. Deshmukh. I'm sure this video will give you great insight and basic knowledge about RBA. This will not only be relevant for gaining knowledge about RBA but also for many competitive exams. So if you like this video, you can press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media help us to spread education in this beautiful world. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.